Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless every one of you. Today is Thursday morning, uh, March the 11th, I believe. Uh, um, God has blessed us to see another day, another Thursday. This is Overcoming with Pastor Irma. God bless you. Come on in. Uh, let's see what the Lord has to say to us on today. Amen. Pastor Irma is on the broadcast on this morning. Amen. Amen. We bless God today. We bless him. I don't know what's going on with my computer today. Oh my. Got a whole lot of stuff going on here. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify <laughs> the Lord with me. Come on, somebody. We ought to be happy. Come magnify the Lord with me and let us. Amen. It just paused out on me. I don't know what's going on with my phone this morning. I uh, hope we don't have uh, uh, technical issues on today. Um, um, had to restart my phone twice. You know how it is. Once you pay off a phone, I declare, they give you a little time and then stuff start going wrong with your phone so you can buy another one. Lord have mercy. But I'm not buying another. We're going to pray over this one and that it's going to continue to work like it's supposed to work uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why we can magnify him. Lord have mercy because we're going to beat the devil at his own game. Lord have mercy. The devil want us to keep buying phones. Keep us in uh, uh, um, um. He wants us to, to stay in debt. Lord have mercy. Keep owing the phone companies. Uh, keep owing this, that, and the other. No, we're going to beat the devil at his own game. We're going to work this till it ain't going to work no more. Lord have mercy. Amen and amen. God bless everyone who is coming on uh, um, on today. Uh, God bless you, John Hammond. God bless you, sweetheart. That's my friend, y'all, uh, down in Salisbury, North Carolina. God bless you, Josephine Copeland. God bless you, uh, uh, um, April Hopkins. God bless you, uh, Doris Neal. God bless you, Apostle Miller. Glad to have you on on today. God bless you. Uh, it was my pleasure. Glad I could speak a word to uh, uh, encourage your heart, uh, um, Apostle Miller. Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Gray. God bless you, Jacqueline Williams, uh, my um, uh, um, co-worker. Amen. God bless you. God bless all of you all who are coming on. Frida Wills, God bless you. I'm glad to have you on Pebbles. Uh, classmate, college classmate, God bless you. God bless you, Bridget Wade. God bless all of you who are coming on, those who I can see and those who I cannot see. Good morning to everyone. Uh, um, we are still in our series uh, what did Jesus have to say? Lord have mercy. We talking about everybody else. We having our own opinions, philosophies, whatever about certain things. But this series is, is about what Jesus had to say. Lord have mercy. We got to get back to the plumb line. We got to get back to Leah. Lord have mercy. God bless you, sweetheart. Glad to have you on. Maria Brantley. God bless you all. Uh, uh, we got to get back to the foundation that Jesus said. <laughs> Lord have mercy. We thank God for the disciples. We thank God for those who came behind. Lord have mercy. But let's get back to the foundation that Jesus set for us. Lord have mercy. I'm getting happy already this 
morning. Lord have mercy. Y'all, I got spring fever. Lord have mercy. It's been in the 70s here in North Carolina and my I'm perking up now. I don't do well in the winter. I don't do well in the cold and in the snow and in the ice. I don't do well then. But let it get in the 70s. Let the sun start shining and the flowers start blooming and the trees begin to come. Oh, I'm, I perk up. Lord have mercy. So y'all in trouble, y'all in trouble. Lord have mercy. All right. We are still in Matthew chapter six. We have gone through the parables. We have gone through, uh, 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 we're still now at the sermon on the mount. Lord have mercy. We've done the Beatitudes. Uh, we've talked about being salt, light, and taking oaths and uh, uh, being angry. We talked about a whole lot of things Jesus uh, uh, was teaching on about almsgiving, about prayer. Lord have mercy. Uh, about fasting. We covered that on last time. But now we are getting ready to move on. And Jesus moved on from fasting to talking about the treasures in heaven. God bless you, Latasha. God bless you, Camille. God bless you, Gwen. Um, God bless all of you all for coming on. We are at verse 19. Lord have mercy. And I'm one of them old school preachers. We go line by line, precept by precept. Lord have mercy. That's how the folk go learn. Um, Elder uh, Wiseman, God bless you on your marriage. God bless you. I didn't tell you that earlier, but God bless you. Happy for you, Elder Kathleen. God bless you, sweetheart. All right. Verse 19 tells us, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Lord have mercy. Uh-huh, he's talking about where your treasure is now. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where the moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay, ah, uh, now he's going to tell us where to lay it. Jesus is talking. But lay up yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. And where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Lord have mercy, Jatana. Jesus is talking to you. God bless you, Betsy. Oh, a former co-worker of mine up in Connecticut. God bless you, sweetheart, uh, uh, for joining us today. Where are we going to put our treasures? Jesus was talking to the multitude, and he told them, don't lay it up for yourself. Lord have mercy. Where we get this selfish spirit from? Where we get this that I got to be a millionaire? I got to have it all. I want the car. I want the big house. I want this. I want that. I won't wear nothing but MK. I won't wear nothing but Prada. I want red bottom shoes. Lord have mercy. Where is your treasure? Lord have mercy. He said, don't lay it up for yourself upon the earth. Ain't that what it, y'all reading what I'm reading? I'm reading from the King James Version. And it said, lay not up for yourself treasure upon earth. Where moth and rust don't corrupt. Lord have mercy. Uh-huh. The moths would put holes in it. It'll eat it. Lord have mercy. The rust. Lord have mercy. You think that car gonna last forever? Lord have mercy. No, you got to replace parts. Lord have mercy. Woo, depends on what kind of car you got. How much you gonna spend on the car replacement. Y'all not gonna help me in here. Lord have mercy. And where thieves break through and steal. We so busy showing off, Lord have mercy, what we got. We all on Facebook showing pictures of our money, showing pictures of what we got. Look at this, look at that. And the thieves are watching, Lord have mercy. They say, oh, yeah, we can get that house over there. Lord, don't you know they can go to the internet and get all your information? Lord have mercy, find out where you are. Look over your habits. You gone to church, Lord. 
Lord have mercy, you come back home to an empty place. Why? Because your treasure, Lord have mercy, are in the things of the earth and not of heaven. Y'all not go help me in here today. We got to watch where our treasure is, y'all. What are we doing? We collecting a whole lot of stuff that don't mean a hill of beans. Lord, I'm re- no U-Haul truck is going to take y'all, going to follow you into the kingdom of God. Lord, have mercy. Woo, God. All the people down here going to do after you gone is fight over what you got. Lord, have mercy. Sell it at the pawn shop. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Lord, have mercy. They don't, because they didn't work for it and they didn't buy it, they not going to value it. Lord, have mercy. Y'all ain't helping me today up in here. Lord, have mercy. We got to watch where our treasure is, y'all. Lord, have mercy. We so concerned about things down here for these 70, 80, 90 years, how many years we here on this earth. What are you storing up in eternity? Woo, my Savior. Verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Lord, have mercy. But he gave us an alternative. <laughs> I love Jesus, y'all. He gave us an alternative. He said, lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Uh, Lord, heaven going to last for eternity, y'all. I'd rather have them treasures than Prada down here. Lord, have mercy. Than Michael Kors down here. Lord, have mercy. Than red bottom shoes down here. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'd rather have my treasure in heaven that will last throughout eternity. Oh, help me. Where neither moth nor rust don't corrupt. And where thieves do not not break through nor steal. Lord have mercy. Ain't none of that going on up in heaven. Lord have mercy. What's yours is yours. You ain't got to worry about nobody taking it. Lord have mercy. Help me up in here. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Lord, where's your heart today? Where is your spirit today? Ah, uh, uh, is your spirit seeking after eternal things? Lord, have mercy. I believe the song said, build your hope on things eternal. <laughs> Help me in here. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Lord, have mercy. The thieves going to take what's down here. Lord, have mercy. What's down here, you going to have to replace eventually anyway. Lord, have mercy. But store up your stuff in heaven. Get your heart in the right place. Get your spirit in the right place. Lord, have mercy. We just passing through here. That's what the old saints told us. We just pilgrims passing through here. Lord, have mercy. It's nice to have nice things. It's good to have nice things. Lord, have mercy. It's all right to have a car that don't break down every five minutes. Lord, have mercy. It's nice to have. But that should not be where your heart is. Lord, have mercy. That should not keep you out of the kingdom of God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, my Savior and my God. I hope somebody helping me today. Lord, have mercy. Find out where your heart is. Do a heart evaluation. Lord have mercy. This teaching, I ain't going to say gospel teaching, but this teaching in the church today got the wrong focus, y'all. They talk about prosperity. Uh, I mean, I believe when, I, Lord, I'm taking dating myself now, but I, I remember when it first came on the scene. Name it, claim it. Lord, have mercy. Uh, prosperity. Just speak it and it shall be yours. Lord, have mercy. Want the things on the earth. Lord, have mercy. Want the things uh, not the, uh, uh, we can't settle for a nice Toyota. We got to have the Lamborghini and the Bentley. Lord, have mercy. Ah, oh, but that kind of teaching messed up our hearts because we now 
are no longer concerned about the soul of man. We want to know what you got. Lord have mercy. Man is tying your natural things to where your faith is. Ah, oh, y'all not going to help me in here. But that is erroneous teaching. Woo, my Savior and my God. See, I done lost some people now. They don't like this because they like they bit Mercedes. They like they stuff. But we're going to find out what Jesus said. Lord, have mercy. Woo, can we go on to verse 22? You better watch your heart, saints. Watch where your heart is. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, we want better for our children. We want them to be uh, able to get things. Lord, have mercy. But we got to put down the love of Jesus in their heart. They need to love the kingdom more than they love the earth realm. Lord, have mercy. Verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. Oops, Lord have mercy, because the light is perception. The eye sees. Lord have mercy. If there for thine eye be single or be focused, Lord have mercy, thy whole body shall be full of light. Lord have mercy. We got to be focused on the kingdom now. Make sure your eye is seeing right, is perceiving right. Lord have mercy. Spiritually, Lord have mercy. Uh, 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 when, when your eye is not perceiving right in the natural, you need some help. Like I got some help. Lord have mercy. Uh, so you can get things into right perspective. Lord, I'm, you won't fall in the hole. You get to see the hole before you look. Nah, you know how to walk around it. Look, jump over it. Lord, have mercy. But if you don't have the right focus, if you're not able to see things as they really are, Lord, have mercy. You're bound to make mistakes. You're bound. Y'all oh, help me in here. But if thine eye be evil. Ha, with the wrong focus, with the wrong perspective, looking at things in the earthly realm, looking at things through the world. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, Y'all not helping me up in here. If you allow the world to uh, 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 give you the focus, give you perception, Lord, have mercy, it will become evil. Thy whole body shall be full of darkness. I hope y'all getting what I'm trying to teach here. Lord, have mercy. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. Darkness, Lord, have mercy. You, you either gonna be light or you gonna be dark. What did Jesus tell us in a few uh, uh, passages before this? Then He say, "You the light of the world." Lord, have mercy. We gotta make sure that we are seeing correctly. We gotta make sure that we got spiritual insight. Spiritual perception. Lord have mercy. Because if you get go on the dark side. He said how great is that darkness. Lord have mercy. That's why the world is calling wrong right and right wrong. Because they see darkness. Y'all not helping me up in here. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, verse 24. Trusting one master. Verse 24, he says, no man can serve two masters. Lord, have mercy. No man. I don't care how deep, how wonderful you think you are. He says, no man, Lord, have mercy, can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon, or God and money. Ha! Lord, help me up in here. He said, you got to pick and choose. Uh, I believe it was Joshua who said, choose ye this day. 
whom ye shall serve. Lord, have mercy. You got to choose a side, y'all. You can't be straddling the fence. Where we get that from? Stratton, don't you know you hurt yourself trying to straddle a fence? Lord, have mercy. You got to be on one side or the other. Jesus is trying to pour into the people that the spiritual side is the side that you want to be on. That is the side that is going to last forever. Y'all not helping me in here. He said, choose one. You, It's either going to be uh, God, the father, or it's going to be mammon. It's going to be politics. It's going to be idols. Lord have mercy. Choose which side of the fence that you going to be on. Lord have mercy. Can't serve both. Lord have mercy. Uh-huh. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. <laughs> take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat. Of what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? That's why you got to choose a side. Choose a side, then you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what you, where you're going to live, what you're going to drink. Y'all not going to help me up in here because the Father is going to take care of his Oh, y'all not helping me. If you're on the right side of the fence, the father is going to take care of you. You ain't got to worry about. Lord, have mercy. How you going to live? How you going to survive? How you going to uh, help me, Holy Ghost? Where you go? Uh, uh, how you going to uh, make it through this earth realm? Lord, have mercy. You ain't got to worry about it. The father takes care of his, if you're on the right side of the fence. Lord, have mercy. If you choose the right side, there's no worries. Lord, have mercy. Verse 26 says, behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? If the birds can eat, if the birds have shelter, y'all not helping me? It, they don't they don't have the capacity to have crops. They don't have the capacity to build houses. They don't have the capacity. Y'all not helping me up in here uh, to to do to uh uh do things uh, to provide for themselves. Lord, have mercy. But God makes sure that they are well taken care of. Lord, have mercy. Woo, my say. If the God can do that for the birds who don't have the capability, Lord, have mercy. How much more ha will he do for you? Yeah. Verse 27. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Lord, have mercy. Y'all can keep commanding and saying, oh, I got a creative voice. You ain't God. Lord, have mercy. Uh, people got y'all all messed up saying that you got create. You can create uh, whatever. God is the creator. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, 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 you can't add one centimeter, one cubit, one nothing to your statue. Lord, have mercy. It's God that does it. Lord, have mercy. It's God. It's the power and the authority of God that does that. You don't have that ability to create. I sat through a message. A woman was preaching and she said we had creative authority. No, we don't. That's God's realm. Lord, have mercy. Woo, Lord. Okay. I done made some folk mad, but it's all right. You still don't have it. You can talk out till you blue in the face. It's God that does it. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. But which of you, by taking thought, Lord, have mercy, can add one cubit? In which you worry, Lord, have mercy, that you can add something to your statue. Lord, have mercy. He goes on in 28 and says, why 
take ye thought for raiment. Well, why are you wearing over clothes? Lord have mercy. Consider the lilies of the field. Ah, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Lord have mercy. You don't see the, the lilies in the field Lord, with a shovel. Lord, I got to get deeper down in the dirt. <laughs> You don't see lilies doing that. Lord, have mercy. You don't see lilies with a, a, a cup hanging out saying, I need some more water. Lord, have mercy. You don't, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. He said, consider the lilies, how they grow. Lord, have mercy. They don't do all this extra stuff. Lord, have mercy. But yet God grows them up. God beautifies them, y'all. Did you, do y'all get it now? Lord, have mercy. Why are we so worried about what, how we going to live in this earth realm when God has created all of these things, the fowls of the air, the lilies in the field, and they are well taken care of. Lord have mercy. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Lord have mercy. Solomon was a bad man. Lord have mercy. Uh huh. But he still was not clothed like the clothing that God gave. Lord have mercy to the animals. Lord have mercy. Foxes. We got to kill a fox to get his fur. Lord have mercy. The fox got his fur just being a fox. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Look at how God has beautified nature. Oh, my Savior. Uh, Solomon, with all his wisdom, with all of his money, all of his concubines. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. All his concubines and all of his stuff. Lord, have mercy. It still cannot compare to what God has put in the earth. How God maintains the earth ram. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field. Look how pretty the grass is. Lord have mercy. Which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Shall he not much more clothe you? <laughs> if he could clothe the grass. Lord have mercy. Uh, throughout the seasons. <laughs> the grass is green, Lord have mercy, uh, in the spring and in the uh, 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 summer, Lord have mercy, and it changes clothes in the fall and in the winter. Y'all not helping me up in here. Oh, my Savior. If God can do that in nature, Lord have mercy, the leaves are beautiful. Lord have mercy, and this comes out in the spring and in the summer in their fullness and in the fall they change clothes. Lord have mercy they change colors. Help me, Holy Ghost. And then they're naked in the winter. But yet when spring comes again, they're full of y'all not helping me up here. He said, how much more will he clothe you? If the trees can get new clothes, if the grass can get new clothes, Lord, how, if the snake can shed his skin and get new skin, how much more, y'all not helping me up in here. Uh, uh, how much more will God clothe you? Oh, God. Then he closed this out and he says, oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> you don't even have to have a whole lot. Lord, have mercy. He said, ye of little faith. Here you got a father who keeps the moon standing in its place in the sky? Who keeps the sun standing in its place in the sky? Keep the stars up in the uh, heavens. Y'all not helping me? Who keeps the oceans within its borders? Lord have mercy. We got a God who is maintaining the earth and the universe, and you worried about what you going to eat, you worried about what you going to wear, you worried about what you going to drink, Lord, how when you got a God who's maintaining it all, oh, ye of little faith. This is what Jesus said. <laughs> Woo, my Savior and my God. 
God. Verse 31. Therefore, therefore, now he's going to bring it in. Now he's going to give us some instructions. Lord, have mercy. He says, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? <laughs> this, this is the instructions now that God is giving. Take no thought. Don't you worry about what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink or wherewithal shall ye be clothed. Don't you worry about none of that stuff. Lord have mercy uh, for all, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Lord have mercy. See, he was talking to the Jews at this time. Sermon on the Mount. You remember, he's in Israel. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, he's in the borders. Now he's talking, he's comparing it. This is what the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. God knows what his people need. He knows that he set our bodies up to eat. He knows he set our bodies up to have clothing on our backs. He knows he set this body up that we need something to drink. We need some water. Lord, have mercy. Hey, help me, Holy Ghost. He knows what we need to sustain our life. But seek ye. <laughs> now, this is where we go. Familiar passage. Now, this is where this scripture comes in. He says, but seek ye first. Some of y'all ain't got that. Seek ye first. Not after all that you've done, uh, then try Jesus. <laughs> he says, seek ye first. Lord, have mercy. The kingdom of God. Lord, have mercy. And his righteousness. See, we, st we stop at seek ye first the kingdom of God. No, there's some more to it. And his righteousness, Lord have mercy, and his holiness, Lord have mercy, and his purity, Lord, and his cleanliness, Lord have mercy, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all of these things, <laughs> All it, whatever you need to sustain life, all of these things will be added or shall be added unto you. But you got to follow the instructions. Lord have mercy, seek ye first. Lord have mercy, the kingdom and his righteousness. Lord have mercy, then you don't have to worry about Because he's going to give those who seek him instructions on how to get what you need to get. Lord have mercy, you need transportation. Lord have mercy, don't mean that you need a Bentley. You just need good, reliable transportation to get you from point A to point B. So if it's a you go, just be thankful for the you go. Lord have mercy. If it's a whoopty, thank you. Be thankful for the whatever God, because your need going to be supplied. Lord have mercy. We so busy trying to be extra. <laughs> Lord have mercy. God promised to supply our need. Lord have mercy. Uh, he'll give you the desires of your heart, but you got to be in right standing with him. Lord have mercy, because if you're in right standing with him, your desires will become his desires. Lord have mercy. God don't care about no Bentley. God don't care about no Lamborghini. Lord have mercy. He's concerned about the kingdom being expanded in the earth realm. He said he's looking that no soul be lost. Lord have mercy. We allowing the enemy to, to distract us with things and not be concerned about the souls of people. Hell, yes, I went there. Lord have mercy. We have been distracted by the enemy to seek after the things instead of seeking after the God of the things. Woo!
Go, Irma, go. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. He said in verse 34, to take therefore no thought. These are still the instructions he's given. He said, take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Don't you worry about tomorrow. Lord, have mercy. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Lord, have mercy. You just make sure you got your heart right today. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. You seek the righteousness today. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Lord, have mercy. I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow. You worry about your daily bread today. Lord, have mercy. Help me in here. Lord, have mercy. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Lord, have mercy. God, uh, uh, let me read this out of here. He says, this means that each day has its own troubles and challenges to be responsibly handled. Lord, have mercy, without worrying about the hypothetical problems that could arise tomorrow. Lord, have mercy. We so busy worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. We forget. Lord, have mercy. We need, what the saints tell us. I just live from day to day. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. Lord, have mercy. That's all I'm asking. Help me to take. take. Lord, have mercy. Teach me to take. Help me to take one day at a time. Lord, have mercy. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop worrying about next week. Stop worrying about next year. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, the letter came for foreclosure, but I am convinced because I done been through some stuff, y'all. Lord, have mercy that everything that we think is bad is not bad, y'all. It's setting us up for new mercies. It's setting us up for battle. It is setting us up. Lord, have mercy to have greater. Lord, have mercy. But we can't worry about. We can't let the enemy stress us out. We can't see tomorrow because we having heart attacks today. Lord, have mercy. Help me up in here. God, God has given us instructions to take one day at a time. Seek God and his righteousness. Seek his instructions. How to take today. How, how to maneuver through today. And then. And then. Tomorrow will take care of itself. When I totally lost my car. On I-40. Lord have mercy. I was... I didn't know what to do. I've never had an accident like that. Now, I've had accidents, but not like that. Lord, have mercy. And I didn't know. I ain't have no money. How can I buy a new car? Lord, have mercy. This car is only two, three years old. Lord, have mercy. Uh, I can't afford to buy another car. Oh, but what I thought was bad. Lord have mercy. Ah, yeah, 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 oh, Shama. In trusting God, I move from a Murano to an infinity. Now, not go help me in here. Lord have mercy. Uh, what, what we think is bad is not always bad. God said it's time for an upgrade. Lord have mercy. Some things happen today so he can upgrade us for tomorrow. Woo, Savior. But we got to seek the kingdom of God. Don't ever stop seeking the kingdom and his righteousness. Lord, have mercy. Then we don't have to worry about what we're going to eat, drink, wear, whatever. Uh, uh, there's some nice clothes at Goodwill. 
Y'all not going to help me up here. I know I work at Goodwill. Lord have mercy. But it's all right to shop. You get some designer clothes there. Lord have mercy. You might find you some red bottoms. You don't have to pay $800 or $1,000 for. Lord have mercy. Hey God, You can dress well. Lord have mercy. And then let God upgrade you to the Sats Fifth. Avenue. Lord have mercy, but you got to learn how to handle goodwill before he can take you to Sats Fifth Avenue, to Nordstrom's. Lord have mercy to the high pollutant. I call them the high pollutant stores. I don't shop in there. Lord have mercy. I majored in textiles. I know what the stuff costs to buy. <laughs> Woo! Help me up in here. Lord have mercy. Woo, God, I got a manager on Goodwill. Listen, Lisa Drummond, Lord have mercy. She knows some good stuff in Goodwill. Lord have mercy. Uh-uh, Lord have mercy. Get new stuff in Goodwill. But if we learn how to manage those things, God will be able to trust us with the other things. You so busy allowing our eyesight to become dark. Our focus not to become on kingdom things, but on the earthly realm. Jesus, in this session, was trying to help us to make sure that our hearts are in the right place. In kingdom expansion, instead of, Lord have mercy, gathering earthly goods. Lord have mercy. He said, you're going to have something to wear. You're going to have a place to sleep. You're going to have uh, your, your daily needs taken care of. Lord have mercy. But you got to be on the right side of the fence. He didn't make that promise to the sinner. He made this promise to those who seek first the kingdom of God. Oh, God, help me, Jesus. Whew. That's our problem. We try to apply things where it don't belong. Lord, have mercy. He was you. You got to know who Jesus was talking to. Lord, have mercy. Who he was addressing this to. Lord, have mercy. That's why he's trying to get you into the kingdom so you won't have to worry. You don't have to be fretful. Thank you, Jesus. God bless each and every one of you. That is. Uh, we're going to stop there on today. That's the end of chapter 6. Uh, um, ooh, we're getting ready to get into some stuff on next week. I mean, yes, on Tuesday. Chapter 7. Judge not. Hey, you don't want to miss that one. Lord have mercy. God bless every one of you for listening to Overcoming with Pastor Irma. I need you all who are on the line to help me. I'm not asking for no money. Lord have mercy. But um, Easter week is coming. Passion week is coming. And on last year, I did a uh, 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 a whole series that week. We talked about um, Jesus. Lord have mercy. All last year during Passion week. Lord have mercy. Uh, what, I need you all to inbox me, put it in the comments, whatever. Uh, would you like for me to do that again? The Lord is impressing me in my spirit to do the seven last sayings. Lord have mercy of Jesus uh, 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 during Passion Week. Lord have mercy. And I would love, God bless you, Betsy. Uh, uh, glad that you were on and that you were blessed today. Um, I would like uh, to bring some of you on. Lord have mercy to talk about, Lord have mercy, the seven last sayings. I'll give you a saying for that day. It don't have to be but 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, we, we don't need an hour recitation. Lord have mercy. Uh, but uh, uh, I bring you on to talk about I'll give you a saying. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, and you can do uh, uh, speak on that saying during that passion week. Is that all right? I need you all to talk to me and say that this is what you want to do. And I'll pick seven of you 
out. Uh, we got some preachers on here. We got, got some good preachers on here. Lord, have mercy that can give us a word during Passion Week. Amen. So uh, uh, let me know about that. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Have a productive day in the Lord. Uh, be blessed. Uh, go out. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then you don't have to worry about if the car note is going to be paid. You don't have to worry about if the mortgage going to be paid. You don't have to worry about if you can buy groceries. Lord have mercy, because the Father knows just what you need. God bless you. I love you all to life. See you on next Tuesday at the 7 o'clock hour.